Critics from the opposition are publicly praised the frequent foreign trips being taken by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Hata rais akitoka hapa amebeba kwa watu 50 au 100. Wengine wanakwenda kule tu, wanafika namna hiyo wanatoka kwenda kufanya shopping. Wewe unaweza kutembea kama rais na watu wachache kwenda kufanya kazi. The president has undertaken more foreign trips during his two and a half years in state house than former president Mwai Kibaki did in nearly a decade in office. Boni Halwale, the senator, public accounts and the investment committee chairman, criticized Uhuru's frequent travel, going as far as calling him a tourist. Richard Nyonga, the foreign affairs assistant minister, said, to a large extent, presidential trips are mostly bilateral and add value to the country. But he challenged the prudence to send four people on a trip where only the president and maybe two other officials will engage with the host. Despite the criticism, supporters of Uru Kenyatta claim that the frequent trips are vital to attracting foreign investors to Kenya. The president going to other countries is good and he should more, do more. We cannot claim the leadership position we, we have in the region and yet shun our obligations to deal with the regional issues that we need to deal with. Uhuru has undertaken three major trips within the last one week. Late in the evening of Friday, November 27th, he flew to Malta to attend the fourth Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. After the conference in Malta, the president traveled to Paris, France, where he addressed the Paris Climate Change Conference on Monday, November 30th. Kenya was among the first developing countries to submit an ambitious, intended, nationally determined contribution to the UNFCC Secretariat. We embrace our responsibility to do something about it.